chill on the couch with us. Welcome back to the couch. We're doing bitchin' now with our fantastic bitchin' panel. Over to the left off screen here to Hello. me or to my I, right. I've got my innocent face it's on It's not today. Cameron Kippen, by the way. Cameron no. normally sits there. We can do a very good Cameron impersonation, we've noticed over the well, break. Well, in fact, it's hard to believe it. He's one of the few people I have too much hair <laughs> yeah. compared to. Can you do a quick impersonation? Uh, it's, well, it's all about my sexy feet, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cameron and Ted. What about you, uh, lovely June? Kelly? Do you want me to do an impersonation? Well, not off camera, if you like. I can. Okay, it's a bra brechman lech nech to necht. Wonderful. <laughs> Maybe if we do it as June, hey, welcome back. Hi, Fred. And Cameron Lynch. Do you want to do an impression of Cameron? Yeah, or do you go want to do an impression of Cameron? Oh, well, we might as well try. Uh, ok, I, the new. <laughs> Lovely. Now we're going to go back to English for those people who've just joined us and wondered what friggin' language we're talking. This is Australian. Welcome back, guys. We've got three great topics. We're going to start with June in the centre today. Prince Harry's been stripping it off and uh, not doing any pole dancing. Well, I don't know what kind of dancing he's been What's the story all about? Because we've all seen this on the news. Tell us, June. Uh, Prince Harry got caught... Uh, well, we've all seen the nude photos of Prince Harry in mm -hmm. Vegas. He there invited is, yeah. some yeah, young girls back to his private suite mm -hmm. and um, consequently there was some... Amazing shots that come what out. What came out of all this? <laughs> Amazing, you well, say. <laughs> I'm actually thinking if he sort of maybe took it a little bit further and went down the lines of maybe Kim Kardashian, Paris Hilton, he could be really quite... Well, could he be any more famous? Do, you, do you think... I'll ask you first, June. Do you think the public care? Or are they just saying good on you? <sighs> I think he's just doing amazing things for redheads, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, what, what bothers me is uh, everything. Every time I've checked on it, all I've seen has been pixelated penises. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and <laughs> stars I, I mean, and... Is this, does this happen when you become royalty? There's nothing there, just mm. a bit of pixelation. And a star on your well, I or seen... and a star on your bum. Yeah. Yes. Maybe that's a royal you, thing. Maybe that's how you know whether you're royal or not, if you have a star on your Ted, bum. Do you think it's such a big issue? Because I mean, no. I'll give you my well, personal opinion. Why I actually that? think Why the crown jewels being on display is pretty good. I, th I see them as trying to become more real. And you know the way that... Well, the, there's nothing more real than playing <laughs> strip uh, well, the, billiards, the, the mate. The palace and the queen made no reference to it. They just breathed straight over it. They're not yeah. happy, oh, come obviously. on, let's face so, it. So, so what 27-year-old well, wouldn't do that? I don't that. reckon That's anyone, exactly right. You're males here. Yeah, 27 is a It's a very... Cameron, what first, do you think? Well, it's the very first <laughs> royal porno they could ever make. It, like, it would come on a solid gold DVD or VHS. But do you think it's such and, a big deal to anybody? Well, well if someone wants a, fa a, a gander at his Tower of London and uh, with, with him and his friends, that's that's their prerogative. And again, like with Kim Kardashian and Paris Hilton and stuff, these are people who want for nothing. They basically come in with daddy's money or the taxpayer's money in this instance, and they get bored and they do stuff like this for attention and yep. stuff like I that. I heard so. the comment uh, just a couple of days ago that said, where the, the royal parliament, the English Parliament are paying his salary, he should tone down. Do you think that's yep. fair or do you reckon... Well, no, mind well their you own. know, the upsetting thing is, see, we being just common, ordinary folk, we, yep. we weren't aware that ev every Christmas <laughs> when the royal family gets together, they play... Billiards. Billiards. Yep. They play strip billiards. Balls and balls, that's yes. why he's in trouble, because he's let the family sleep out of his bag. He didn't keep his balls in his pocket. Well, well, he, well, not, if, well he didn't well, have well, a pocket to keep his balls say, in. Yeah. <laughs> If he actually had pockets, it would have been yes. billions. But thank you very much. So you don't think it's such a big deal? No. Good no. on you. I don't Harry? think us Australians do. We don't care. No. No. Who cares? All right. Next topic. Television, one of my favourite topics. Cameron? Uh, yes, everybody dance now. The, Every, uh, can I do the impersonation? Uh, everybody dance now. Oh, was that too long? Because that well, was longer than the TV. Camera? We missed it. Oh, I'll do it again. again. Everybody. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh. It's Jason Derulo. Sarah Moon. I think I, I went too hard. Hang, hang on, guys. I think I went too far longer than the TV show. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. So, what happened? Uh, the latest flagship show has fallen flat on its face, and uh, the, it's, uh, the dancers have broken their backs and all gone home. What is the story here? Because the show didn't rate. They no. went for three episodes and then. I, I, I actually watched it because I, I, I really like the dancing reality shows, and just format-wise, it was failed. Uh, Sarah Murdoch couldn't hold um, a wet tissue to, mm. you know, a, a candle. She is and... giving her credit. I think she's a very good host. No. I mean, she did the Today Show for about a year. Oh years, yeah, I, I just love the. Way Way she stands there with her hand. I only saw the promos, yep. and she's always got her hands on her hips. You know, like I am a model. My, yeah, like, my, you know, my, my, my she's partner not very said, natural. My partner said it's like your mother introducing right. things. Well, this like... is this is one show. Okay, yeah. what I'd like to try and talk about is Australian TV. Now we haven't had a lot of Australian TV. Everything's from England, from mm. America, off the internet, all this sort of stuff, all this trashy TV. This is an Australian program. 
coming from an American program. It's made here in Australia. Yeah, with American hosts. You've got the Priscilla program, yeah. uh, We Will Survive. We've yeah. got Big Brother. Yeah. We've got a Young Talent Time. Um, Puberty Blues. All these Australian... Do you think it's good that we're doing Australian TV? Oh, of course why, it's going to be doing Australian TV, but why is it all reality? I mean, exactly. are we going to end up with... Have you heard the latest one in America, which is called Honey Boo Boo? No. Which is about uh, this uh, white trash family who live <laughs> off Road Hill. Yep. I'm serious. <laughs> and the six-year-old daughter goes in beauty pageants, and her name, professional name, is Honey Boo Boo. That's why they named her Honey, Honey Boo Boo. Boo. She's and, and, yeah, yeah, and they actually, it's all about this family. So what are we doing wrong? Why can't a show like uh, Everybody Dance, why did that go for three episodes and they cut it off? Where 20 years ago, Ted, yeah, you'd yeah. last your 13 weeks if it didn't rate. I know mm. ratings are now instant. Uh, the internet, Twitter, everything's instant feedback, yeah. instant criticism. Do you think that it's the times could that we be tested bored, the times? Could we be basically bored with reality television? I mean, they tried to bring back, uh, mm. you know, get me out of this house, you know, Big Brother. Mm. Big Brother, yeah. And, and I watched it the first time <laughs> and I thought, ho oh, hum tiddly dum there's yeah. nothing new here. Yeah, yeah. There's like I mean, I love Tina, Sparkle, yeah. yes. but, but like, the rest of it was... Sorry, Ken. It's like uh, Farmer, Farmer Wants a Wife. Yeah, I mean, and that's... Like, um, I like don't tell, that show. Don't tell the bride. The, all the ten, the ten networks <laughs> seem to have a problem with programs at the moment. There's so many Australian programs, but for some reason people aren't liking them. And I think it is what Ted's saying, it's reality TV. TV. Drama would probably work better. Well, but that, but that takes scripting, it takes mm. actors, it takes yeah. talent. Do you think you time can't just slot? throw people in front of the camera. Do, do you think we make a mistake as well? For example, Big Brother's on at 7 o'clock on 9. Then at 7 o'clock on 10, they'll put on We Will, I Will Survive. You know that they're not going to both win, but they're both good Australian programs. So. Yeah. so Big Brother wins because the other show didn't rate as well. They say, oh, it's rubbish. Why don't I, they move it to a, a time slot when there's an English program against it? And on that, why do they put on MasterChef, mm. which I, I, I like MasterChef. Yep. I mean, why did they, they put it on during the Olympic Games? I yeah, mean, of they, course it's not going to rate. Well, because that, but if they put anything else on, that's the, the closest chance it's going to rate, and it was running concurrently previously, so they kind of had to keep it going constantly. Okay. Ted, you've worked in TV a long time. You, you've had yeah, a, a amazing career. Pretty, yeah. What do you think television producers need to be observant of? What's causing all this problem with all these shows not lasting? Well, I, I think we probably need... Australian creative people and give Australian creative people a bit of a go. Australian yeah. ideas, maybe? Yeah, 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 because everything is based on overseas. I mean, yes, we, we buy look, look the I know too. David Mott got the chop, and I've known him, well, I knew him when he was a young man. He's a lovely bloke. But then if you look at all the stuff he's put on there in the 16 years he's been there, mm. that they're all, you know, overseas copies. adaptations. They're all copies from overseas, yeah. pretty much. June, did you want to have something to say about that? I just think if something's popular, it'll be popular regardless of what, Where it's whether from, it's on yeah, the internet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And what about yeah, your camera? About... Um, I think reality is reigning supreme because it's cheap to make. Uh, they don't have to pay the contestants or anything like that. And for MasterChef, we can see it can rate for the roof and right. it is lucrative. So it's kind of throw everything against the wall, see what sticks and what's going to be our new reality And hit. it seems to be very expensive when they can. Yeah. After and and this is one of the reasons, I think, why, why Prince Harry... His bit is so popular because it's like reality television, <laughs> TV, exactly. isn't it? It's, it's you know, real royal TV. in Las Vegas. You know. <laughs> Talking about the last club, I know we've got to wind it up, but Ted, you've got a great topic. Oh, well, well, it's, it's end funny. on a, a bit of a funny one here. Well, you may call it funny, Fred, but but I call it very serious. It's just another story amongst the millions of stories from Mandurah, <laughs> and this happened. Uh, 12, now, for those people over 12, east, Mandurah is far away from Perth. It's it's, but it's one. It's full of a million stories, and and this happened uh, a, a year ago where. This young policeman, uh, Constable Harry Plod, was told to go out and catch pushers. And so he went out and arrested a woman with a pram because she was pushing. She was pushing a the baby. pram and talking on the phone at the same time. And I, I mean, look, it, it's a great joke and it's gone viral, and so it should because, you so know, she, when you're stupid, so you've got to laugh at yourself. She was don't pushing you? the pram yeah. like this with the baby. Yep. And then all of a sudden, woo, woo, woo! And then she went back, she tried to run away from the Yeah, the and police. she said, pull, up, pull over, woman, pull then, over, lady. And what happened? Well, she was fined uh, 250 bucks for talking on the mobile phone. But let's be fair, it was dropped the next day, within 24 they hours. When they said, out. yeah, he'd made a massive error, and yeah. the officer concerned had misinterpreted a law involving regarding the definition and of a vehicle. what happened to common and the sense? Law, <laughs> the law actually does dictate that from fence to fence, you're on the uh. road. 
So it does Ooh. say Hello, that. We've and got Perry the, Mason with us. No, no, let's see. And pushing a vehicle. So you're, you're in saying technically they were right. Technically, I look. Now. Do you know those electric? Um, Don't push a pram those electric public, um, yeah. chairs that yeah. people use. Yes. The older people Rascal. get around. Yeah. I mean, there was someone booked for DD on that. It's a vehicle. Well, I think you know pro <laughs> yeah. property prices in Mandurah have skyrocketed because the police are tackling the scourge that is <laughs> yeah. talking on your cell phone while pushing your child yes, around. You're it's, right. and, and it's not revenue raising at all. No. And they're completely confident in their jobs. Yes. And, this, You're right. and, and they're it, starting young. I mean, really, they got two people. Yeah, in that, they've in that crushed bus. the syndicate. And, and in tell the me, did the lady get off? I believe she you said did. Yes. she got Within off. Within 24 she, she hours, did. The, the child was considered a bit of a dummy, though. Yep. Um, she's a patsy. Uh, uh, I think uh, just, yeah, she just no. bombed it on the kid. Yes. And, yeah. bit of gaga. Whatever. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> thank you very, <laughs> thank you very much, it's everybody. Gone losing your way. <laughs> and just a quick comment. I know we're going to go to break. Julia Gillard. How do we think she's going as the prime minister? I know you love this one, Ted. Quickly. Great. I am one of the 27% of this, this nation who believes she doesn't dye her hair. Ju uh, June? Well, I actually think it's fabulous that a woman's in power. Well done. Which woman? Oh, Julie <laughs> Gillard. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cameron. Smoking hot. If she's watching, call me. <laughs> <laughs> and I think my power's about to go up. Thank you very much to all the team from Bitchin. Thank you to Ted. Smoking Thank you to June. Hot. Thank you to Cameron. And that's Bitchin for another week. And, uh... We need to take a break. Be back with more of the cat spin it to win it after this. Well done.